Hi and welcome to Biostock Studio. Today I am joined by Erik Digman Wiklund, CEO at Circio, who is here to tell us more about the company. Welcome. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. And uh, let's start with you explaining what you do for those who doesn't know the company. Circio is a company developing circular RNA, and this is an emerging area in RNA therapeutics. Circular RNA has several advantages over mRNA. And there's been a lot of hype around circular RNA lately, some big deals in the industry. And this is because circular RNA have some chemical advantages that people believe can make them replace mRNA as the preferred therapeutic type of, of RNA. And we have a unique program or a unique approach in circular RNA. And we are aiming to be one of the leading players in this field. And you recently changed both the company name and part of the strategy. Could you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, correct. The company used to be called Targovax. And this uh, legacy goes back to a cancer vaccine that was developed in the early 2000s. And this is no longer the core focus of the companies. We felt the vax, the vaccine is, is less reflective of what we're doing. We wanted to have a new name that looks to the future and also cements the core strategy of the company, which is now circular RNA. So CIRC, CIRC it stands for the circular RNA, and then IO for immune oncology or immunotherapy. Uh, this hints uh, at the legacy of the company in immunotherapy, but immunotherapy is also one of the legs uh, of our future development. So that aspect uh, kind of links the, the legacy with the future. So therefore, Circio is the new name. This area that you're now focusing on, circular mm -hmm. RNA, has attracted a lot of attention lately. Do you know why is that? Yeah, that's correct. We see uh, RNA financings, even though the market was difficult uh, in the last couple of years, the RNA deals went up. And the majority of the RNA financings, in fact, were for circular RNA concepts. We've also seen some of the big pharmaceutical companies moving into the circular RNA space. And the reason for this is that circular RNA just has this chemical advantage of having a much longer half-life. They're resistant to, to degradation uh, by standard mechanisms in the cell, and this dramatically improves the half-life. And that's one of the major challenges facing mRNA that's held back the development. So people believe that circular RNA eventually, once you figure out exactly how to do this, can replace mRNA as, as the preferred uh, RNA therapeutic modality for protein expression and vaccines. So that's where you see the biggest potential for, for your company going forward? We see three areas as the biggest potential. Our legacy is in cancer. That's what we know. And there we already have a platform to build on. So our first step is to develop this uh, within the cancer context. As far as we know, we have the only circular RNA program in oncology at the moment. So we expect to be the first into the clinic with a circular RNA program in, in cancer. Uh, the second step is to use our circular RNA approach in vaccines. Uh, this we're already bringing into uh, to in vivo studies, and we anticipate we can have a highly potent vaccine platform for the future. And then third, and I think the ultimate goal is to take this into rare disease, the protein replacement or sort of gene therapy in rare monogenetic disorders where you need to replace a protein over time. This is kind of the, the holy grail of, of drug development. And we think our approach and circular RNA is uniquely situated to deal with, uh, with rare monogenetic disorders. My last question is about your financial situation. How would you describe that? So with this switch to focusing on circular RNA, we are mainly doing preclinical work. We've put our in-house sponsored clinical development on hold. And this uh, dramatically reduces our cash need. So the company has sufficient financing uh, through a convertible uh, facility to, uh, to deliver all our milestones on the circular RNA program, which is less uh, cash in intensive. Having said that, we're always looking, we're a biotech company, we're always looking for financing. And I think even more importantly, we're looking for long-term investors who share the potential or the vision that we see and who, who, who share our optimism of the potential of circular RNA and want to, to invest in this uh, for the future and support it long term. So uh, clearly we're, we're very interested in, in attracting uh, biotech specialists that really want to help us take this to the next level and expand and speed up the program that we have already put in place. I see. It will be interesting for us to follow your journey. So now we know a little more about Circio and Circular RNA. Thank you for watching this interview and thank you for coming. Thanks for having me.